Hey there, this is Hana from Bold True Life. Welcome back to another guided tapping video. If you've never heard of emotional freedom technique or tapping before, that's okay. All you have to do is just follow along and repeat after me. And if you're curious to learn more about tapping, you can check out the intro to EFT series that my sister and I recorded. I will have it linked down below. So we are going to spend the next few minutes really getting back in touch and in tune with our hearts. The reason that I wanted to focus on the heart today is because a lot of times when life is feeling really lifey, <laughs> when we are overwhelmed, when we are stressed out, when we're anxious, when there's just a lot going on, we tend to get out of our bodies and into fix it mode. But so much of the work is actually in our body, particularly in our heart. It's the part of us that carries so much of our guidance and wisdom when we are tuned into it. So I really wanted to take some time today to take care of our hearts, to nourish our hearts, just like we nourished our body last month, so that we can go back out into the world feeling refreshed and connected and centered and move into the rest of the day from that space rather than that more frantic energy that we tend to function out of when we have a lot going on in life. So let's just take a moment and take a deep breath. You can close your eyes here if you haven't already. And let's check in for a moment. How is your heart doing today? What comes up for you when you hear that question? Is your heart feeling tired or sad or any other feelings? Maybe your heart is feeling really good right now. Let's take a moment and check in. And once you've identified or gotten a sense of how you're doing and how your heart is, you can open your eyes again. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take my glasses off before we get started. <laughs> and we'll begin right here, tapping on the side of our hands. And we'll start by saying, even though I haven't been very connected with my heart lately, I accept myself and how I feel. Even though I've been so busy and not so connected to my heart lately, I accept myself and how I feel. Even though I've been really busy, not very connected to my heart lately, I accept myself and how I feel. Life's been really busy lately. I've been going and going and going, doing so much, taking care of everything and everyone. And it's been stressful. Things have been overwhelming. And I did what I had to do. I kept it moving. I kept going. Kept taking care of everything. But I didn't have much time to check in with myself didn't have as much time to check in with my heart. I've been feeling so frantic, rushing and rushing to do all the things. It feels like I have no time for me. It feels like I don't have a minute to relax let alone do something like check in with my heart. Just hasn't been a priority. 
hasn't been at the top of my to-do list because there's been so much else going on and it all felt more important. But now feeling tired and worn out and I'm realizing that my heart needs some time and attention. My heart needs some love. So I'm taking a few minutes to reconnect. Taking this time to get back in tune with my heart. To check in and see how it's feeling. See how I'm feeling. Getting back in touch with this center in my body. This space of wisdom. This source of guidance for me. I've been so busy lately that I haven't had time to check in. I've been going, going, going. But I forgot that my heart is really important in this equation. That my heart can guide me in these moments of overwhelm too. That it can help me reground and recenter. It can help me find a rhythm when I'm feeling off tune. This rhythm of my heart. Give myself permission to get back in touch with it. I'm taking this time to get back in touch with my heart. To pour my love into it. To appreciate it for carrying me all this time. And I forgive myself for not giving it much attention lately. I forgive myself. And I'm taking this time to get back in touch. To recenter myself. To feel my heart beating. To recognize how hard it's working to take care of me every day. To appreciate its wisdom. Because my heart often knows things before the rest of me does. The center of my intuition. My heart. Taking this time for my heart. These few minutes to fill it up. And to check in and see what guidance it has for me. Listening to my heart. Listening to my heart. Listening to my heart. Just listening to my heart. Listening. Being still with my heart. Being still with my heart. Taking this time to be still with my heart. And it feels so good. Right, let's take a deep breath. Let it out. 
And just check in one more time. How are you feeling? Hopefully more heart-centered and at peace, more grounded in your body. And if you feel like you could use a little more time with your heart, go ahead and replay this video. And you can also check out some previous videos for a little more tapping. And if you're feeling like you could use some one-on-one -on -one support, you can reach out to me. I am available for that too. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and end here. As always, I'm sending you love and reminding you to take really good care of yourself. And I will see you soon.